you are not aware of just exactly how serious the times are that we are in as Christians, then you are definitely not paying attention. Do you understand that Christianity is the most attacked of all things in the world right now? Do you understand that pastors are being arrested for preaching the gospel on street corners? Are you aware of the fact that California is getting ready to pass a law that it will be illegal to preach that homosexuality is a sin? You know, these are signs of what's coming. And it is absolutely spiritual, and it is absolutely a war. Now, if you love God, if you love the Lord, you want to stand up for Him in these days. You want to stand up for the Word of God during these very, very serious times. But when you do that, you are going to be under spiritual attack. You are going to experience personal spiritual warfare. Before you go into battle, you have to strengthen. You have to get strong. You have to literally starve the flesh and feed the spirit. Flesh and spirit. And that's exactly what fasting is. Fasting is when you starve the flesh and feed the spirit. And that's where we are right now. We are at a time where many of us are being called to the battlefield, but many are going into this war unprepared. They're not putting on the full armor of God. They're not starving the flesh and feeding the spirit. They're not praying, and they're not worshiping in spirit and in truth. I'm going to start fasting soon. I'm not going to give the day, but it'll be over the next few days. I'm going to starve the flesh and feed the spirit. And during my fasting process, I am going to be in very, very serious prayer. I'm going to be praying for the body of Christ to get strong and get courageous. And to receive a true understanding of the times that we are in. If you need prayer... Email me at Mr. Campbell at Rogers.com. M R C A M P B E double L at Rogers.com. I'll put you in my prayers during my fasting period. We need to we need to really, really, really get serious. When you are confronted with a serious enemy in serious times. You have to get serious. You can't take this lightly. You can't take this as a joke. The entire body of Christ is under attack. If you step on that battlefield, you are going to feel personal attack. And it's going to be serious. So my advice is, get real serious. Do some fasting. Get into prayer. Get into worship. Get ready. Get prepared. Because these are the times that we are in. If God blessed you with this message and you want prayer, please email me. If you want to fast and you want to know how to fast, contact me and I'll walk you through fasting. Jesus said man cannot live on bread alone. You want to be able to fight off the enemy, you've got to use every single power that God has given you through Jesus Christ. If you enjoy the videos, sub the channel. Hit the like button, hit the bell for updates. Go to Brighteon, B-R-I-G-H-T-E-O-N.com. I'm putting videos up there as well. Become a Patreon and help support this channel if it's in your budget and in your heart. I have lost a couple of Patreons over the last little while. That's okay, I ask God to continue to bless you. At the same time, Go to Flat Out Elected Family and subscribe there. That is our backup channel. 
there is a PayPal link for those that want to help out the needy and help us support those that can't support themselves. We do for the least of man. I ask God to bless you. You guys take really, really, really good care of yourselves. And get serious because these are serious times. Is when you talking to the, to the principalities and reminding the powers and telling them who you are and what's going to happen. That's when you get an attitude. We have access to God with boldness and confidence. We can go boldly to the throne of God. We can go confidently to him. But what does the devil do? He keeps bringing up your past. He keeps bringing up your failures. He keeps bringing up your shortcomings. I'm not going to God on the basis of my righteousness. Not my righteousness. I'm going on the basis of his righteousness and who he is.